Welcome back. So today we're going to add password hashing using an extension called Flask Bcrypt. Now before we start, let's go over a few best practices for securely storing a password. So first, never store plain text passwords in a database. Next, never write your own cryptographic hasher algorithm. And finally, passwords should be passed to the server side in plain text over an encrypted connection and then hash before storage. And for more best practices, check out the link here to the Open Web Application Security Project. And with that, let's get Flask Bcrypt installed. And we can go ahead and activate our virtual environment. And then, as always, you can use pip to install. And I'll go ahead and add this to my requirements file. Okay, so to integrate Bcrypt into our Flask app, we need to first update our app.py file. So let's go to app.py, and we can start by importing the extension. So from Flask extension, then import Bcrypt. And then we just need to pass the app object in the bcrypt. All right, go ahead and save that, and that's it. And so next, we need to update the user model in order to hash the password. So let's go to our models.py file. So we just need to update the initializer function so that a regular plain text password is hashed before it is stored within the database. And we can do that just right down here. So bcrypt.generate password. Then we pass in our plain text password there. And we need to import bcrypt. Okay, going back to the steps here. So next we need to apply the model changes to our database using a DB migration. So going back to the terminal. So let's create the migration script. Now let's go ahead and apply those changes. Cool, now before we go ahead and add any users, let's go ahead and delete all the data in the users table within the Postgres shell. So to do that, let's go ahead and open up psql. And we can connect to our database. So to discover flask dev, there's all our tables. And let's go ahead and select all from users. So there's our single user there, our admin user, and you can see the plain text password here. So let's go ahead and delete that user. So delete from users. Just double check there. So it's gone. And now we can quit. All right, so let's go ahead and add some users now. And I created a DB create users that py script that is on the repo right now, which you can grab from the repo as well. So db create users. Go ahead and copy the code from here. Just go ahead and create this file. So db create users users.py. Go ahead and save the file there. And of course, run it. Okay, so as long as you didn't get an error, all should be well. So now we just need to manually test. So we can just hop back in the psql and ensure that the user was added properly with the hash password. 
So let me just connect to that database again. And then run that select command. Cool. So there is our admin user. You can see the hash password there. And then there is the other user that I added. And the hash password, of course. Perfect. So now we're ready to actually create a proper user registration system, which is exactly where we'll pick up next time. See you then. Thanks.